Welcome to Plymouth Sound. We're going to take you on an underwater safari. There might be a busy city above, but there's a whole other world going on down here. We're starting in Wembury Bay. These underwater kelp forests provide a sheltered nursery for many fish. Kelp is that huge brown seaweed. These young fish are called bib or pouting, from the same family as cod. These small fish are hunted by some of Plymouth Sound's larger fish species, so they stay together for safety. There are over 1,000 species of marine creatures that live in Plymouth Sound. That's because it has lots of different habitats where wildlife thrives, like it does here. As we go, make sure you have a really good look around. It's time to explore elsewhere. Moving through the rocky gullies of Mewston, you can see that the rocks are home to sea urchins and sponges. And if you look closely, you may be able to see a spiny lobster or crawfish in there. That orangey brown fish is a kakuras. This is a female. Look down, and you might see spiny starfish. There's life everywhere you look. Now we've arrived out at the Eddiston Reef. Those rather inquisitive fish are also kukuras, but these are the males. Look down, and you'll see brightly colored corals. Yes, Plymouth Sound has its own coral gardens. We've shone a light at them to show off their colors. Many of the reef species have suitably exotic names, like the pink sea fan, the potato crisp bryozoan, and dead men's fingers. Who'd have thought there was such a rich and surprising underwater world so close to a bustling city? It's no surprise that Plymouth is known as the UK's ocean city. <laughs> 